Hi folks, Dave the man from the East. I am going to answer a couple of things for you uh, today. I've already given you um, why Forrest said the gut feeling, uh, why his thoughts are wavering, uh, that episode. Uh, this is a 200 foot for somebody who's asking. That's a 200 foot clue, both of them. Um, easy, but that sign's gone. It's been taken down since then. Somebody ran over it um, three or four years ago. Uh, I've given you the reason why I am the man from back east. Uh, I've given you the reason why two people can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Uh, very, very good answers. I've given you what the chase literally is. Uh, I've given you the final resting place. And I've given you the nine clues. Uh, I've actually remastered those a little bit, um, which I may put out at some point. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, most of those are correct, right in order, uh, consecutive order. Uh, some people don't understand there's a map portion in there, but it, there is. Anyways, uh, what I want to give you right now, just uh, this is something Forrest said. And I'm going to give you the reason why he said it. Uh, he said, don't go anywhere an 80-year-old man wouldn't go. Now, how many people have traveled with somebody who's 80 years old? Um, cross country, to the casino, wherever. If you're going on a, on a longer ride or, or going somewhere with an 80-year-old person, let's say you stop at a rest area. Now, where's that 80-year-old person going to go? They're going to stay right in the parking lot. They're not going to go wandering off. They're not going to go far away. They're not going to go two miles into the woods. They're going to stay right there. Now, if you really think about where Forrest hid the treasure, right 12 feet off of the parking area in Palisade Sill, an 80-year-old person going to look for that treasure, don't go anywhere an 80-year-old person wouldn't go. So don't go in the woods. You're right there. He, he put this poem together so that if there was an 80-year-old person who was out looking for the treasure, they still have a chance to find it. If they put the clues together or that the names together and, uh, and figure it out. He made this so that anyone could solve it sitting in your car if you find the right search area, which was Palisade Sill. And this is what I'm trying to get across to you folks. Um, the ones that don't get it, the, in, the, in the clues, it's all there. It's just being able to see it. It's like Sudoku. When you, you have zero through nine, you have to line them up. But you're only given a couple of things to uh, start out. That, that nine numbers, the nine clues, same thing. It's, it's not exactly the same. Don't take me literally. Um, but it's a it's a test and it's all clues and he said it don't go anywhere an 80 year old man wouldn't go an 80 year old man going to look for the treasure is going to stay right in the parking lot while somebody younger goes and does the uh the climbing and searching but that that quote right there it's literally if you went where an 80 year old man wouldn't would go would go he's going to sit in the parking lot waiting for you to Run your ass off in the woods. That that significance right there, that the cross that I parked in front of for four, five years before I realized that's that's where the treasure is. He put it so that it was it was tricky, but it's simple. And uh, when you see it, so people are going to start seeing it. Um, I've put enough information out there where. People will see that this is a true solve. And uh, what I've been saying is true. Jack heard the information, went and dug it up. It's that simple, folks. And I can't wait until his his answers or whatever he wants to put out there for a solve. Uh, because when he puts it out, Jack, I'm telling you, when you put it out there, man, you better think about every single thing that connects. Hints, clues, everything else. Because... You're going to have a lot of controversy if you really decide to put it out there. But 
I'm pushing you so that you do, so people see that you're lying. Bottom line, uh, folks, follow me if you want. Follow me if you don't want to. Either way, I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you folks have a great day. And remember, don't go anywhere an 80-year-old man wouldn't go if you're going to look for this uh, uh, the solve on the clues. Um, so stay right in the parking lot. Don't go up to the fire pit. It's too dangerous. All right, folks. Have a great day. Um, I'll talk to you soon.